Hi guys, okay, so this video is continuing our sloper draw for the front bodice that we're doing. Um, so far you should have figured out your avatar, what size is best for you. Um, now we're gonna move on to the book where we're gonna do figure one. This is on page 40 for me. Um, so we're gonna start drafting the front bodice. So I really just need the 2D window. I don't need the avatar right now. So I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and just click on 2D um, just so I can kind of see more space for the 2D part. I hold the option button to pan. I'm working on a Mac and I have my scroll mouse to zoom in and out as well. Okay, so figure one, it says, um, okay, so it says A to B. It's having us draw our full lengths, having us draw lines, but I think since we're working on Clo, what we need to do first is make um, a rectangle of fabric the right size. So the rectangle I'm going to do is going to be, the length is going to be the same length as A to B, and then the width is going to be the same length as B to E. Okay. So I'm going to hit our, this is our pattern drafting tool right here, polygon tool and hold it down. Um, I want to do the rectangle. So keyboard shortcut S for that. And um, I'm just going to click it, right click it once. Oh, just kidding. I'm going to left click it once, <laughs> left clicking. Okay, so how wide, well, how tall do I want it to be? I want it to be the same length as A to B. So figure one says A to B is full length, which is measurement number six. So you wanna make sure you have your standard measurement chart really handy. Oh gosh, I don't know if I know what page that's on. Let me see if I can figure that out for you real quick. No, I don't know what page that is. It's like the end of chapter two. It's the very last page in chapter two. It's a standard measurement chart or you could have taken your own measurements from chapter two as well and put them in the chart. Um, okay, so full length is gonna be measurement number six. So um, for size 16 um, front, my measurement is 15 and 3 eighths, but then it wants us to add one eighth inch as well, okay. So I have to figure out how, in decimal form, what is 3 eighths? So 3 eighths is 3.75. Okay, so I'm gonna take 15.375, and I'm going to add 1 eighth, which I do have memorized is 0.125. Okay, so my length is gonna be 15.5 inches. So that's for height, 15.5. Okay, so my width, I'm gonna jump down. I'm still in figure one, but it's the last one. It says B to E. That is the bust arc measurement, which is number 17. And we have to add a quarter inch as well. So number 17 for size 16 is 11 and 1 eighth. So 11 0.125 plus a quarter inch, 0.25 equals. Okay, so my width is gonna be 11.375. 11.375, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna oh, let it finish its business. Okay, so I'm gonna get this tool over here and I'm gonna be able to click and drag. I'm just gonna line it up with center front. Um, and maybe I'll zoom in a little bit here and the whole option to pan. Okay, so now what I wanna do is mark all the points in figure one. So we already have A to B, so that's fine. Um, A to C is gonna run along the top and it's not gonna go all the way to the end. So I'm gonna add a point with this tool. You can do keyboard shortcut X click that guy. And now before I do click it, um, I actually want to, I'm going to use this other tool right here, this edit pattern tool. And I'm just going to click this little point because I want to make a new point from this point. So now I'm going to click this guy. And then that way you see how it has the numbers that kind of tells you where the point is in relation to the point that's highlighted. Um, so the point that's highlighted in your book is point A, it's letter A. And we're trying to make C and C A to C is the across shoulder measurement minus one eighth inch. So the cross shoulder measurement is number 14 front. So in size 16, 
number 14, that's 8 and 5 sixteenths. Oh my goodness. And then they want me to subtract 1 8 inch. So I have to figure out what is 5 sixteenths. Hold on. So 5 divided by 16. Okay. Um, so I'm going to say... Um, da, 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 da. 8.3125, 8.3125 minus 1 eighth, which I believe is 0.125 equals, okay, this is my measurement. <laughs> um, I need to mark C to be 8.1875. And I think CLO doesn't even work in the fourth decimal. So that five, I'm probably gonna round up the number seven. So I'm, I'm gonna say it's 8.188 most likely. And I'm gonna add a point that doesn't so. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Got my point tool here. I want it to be eight point whatever. Okay, so if I right click, I can just type it in. So here under line two, 8.188, is that right? I have the worst memory. Yeah, 8.18 and I'm rounding the seven up to an eight because of the five. Okay. Um, okay, great, so there's my point. Um, that would be point C. Then they want me to square down three inches from C. Okay, so I'm gonna select it. I could have hit keyboard shortcut X and it's selected. Now I'm going to right click, add perpendicular line. So I'm so bad at my X and Y axis. I'm gonna try Y, yeah, is that right? No. That's okay. I actually wanted to do X. So I'm going to say cancel. <laughs> I always forget which is which. Okay, X axis. Yeah, there we go. See that red line? That's what I want. Square it down. Um, they're squaring it down all the way to the end, but I actually only want it three inches according to the book instructions. And I will say okay. And they have a nice little um, squared off box to help me remember. Nice little baseline there. Okay. Now we're gonna do B to D. So B to D is gonna run along this line. This down here is B and D is gonna hit before this top point. So that, the length is gonna be our center front length, which is measurement number five. And I don't have to do any math. Isn't that lovely? Cool. So I'm gonna click this point down here and I'm gonna do the add point and I'm gonna click along this line, whatever my center front length is, which apparently is measurement number five, the front. So for size 16, it's 15 and 3 eighths. I kind of forget what 3 eighths is in decimal form. So I'm just going to do 3 divided by 8 on my little calculator. Okay, so for me, it's 15.375. Cool. So, dun, dun. yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm realizing I made a mistake when I made this rectangle. It was supposed to be A to B. I pulled the wrong measurement. I did not pull my full length, number 6. I got confused and pulled number five. So I guess I could start over, but that sounds terrible. So instead I'll just change it. Um, so the length of this rectangle was supposed to actually be, um, let's see here, number five, or no, okay. Full length should be number six, yeah. So the full length front should have been 18 and three fourths plus one eight. So let's figure out what that is. Um, so 18 point. 7, 5 plus 1 eighth, which is 0.125 equals. Okay, so the full length should have been 18.875. So I'm going to make sure this is selected here, which it is. I'm going to change it from 15 and a half, change length. I just right clicked it. Okay. And then um, I'm going to change it to 18.875. Oops. Let's see here. 18.875, great. Um, and it wants to know, it doesn't really matter. The bottom start one is fine, okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna select this guy. Actually, I'm gonna select this, right click, change length, 18.875. And then this time, um, I guess I'll do the end. There we are. So it goes down to the bottom. And I'll say, okay. Phew. Oh my goodness. I fixed it. Okay. So now I'm going to select this point and I'm going to add point D 
And to do that, I'm going to use this um, add point split line tool, keyboard shortcut X. And um, we need that. So B to D is our center front length with number five. We don't have to do any math. Great. So that should be 15 and 3 eighths. Okay, so again, I kind of forgot what 3 divided by 8 equals. 3.75. So it's going to be, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go to line 2 here. 15 point 3.75. Ah, sorry, my mouse is, I lost it for a second. 15.375. Okay, great. So I have a point there. Um, okay, now they want me to mark and square out four inches. So I'll just make sure he's selected with this tool up here, which is keyboard's shortcut Z. I'm gonna right click it. And we're gonna say add perpendicular line. This time it's on the X, I think. <laughs> no, it's not, it's on the Y, crap. Okay, cancel. Okay, right click, add perpendicular line, Y axis. Yeah, that looks better. And we're going to make this, it says four inches, four inches. Okay, great. Um, and we're good. That finishes up figure one.